Hello, friends. How you doing? Pretty good. Great. Guess where I am right now? I'm here. It doesn't take long for me to Thailand to realize to see the street food as a practically a way of life. Life there, the breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinners. Considering that many houses aren't equipped with full kitchens, and the raw ingredients can cost more than the prepared meals, it's no surprising that eating outside a small chair than a table, the stranger together eating is more common than eating inside. Bangkok is indeed the country's mecca of street food. There are plenty of stalls, carts, and the market all across the Thailand. Street food cart on the outside of the side road in Thailand isn't going to follow the same hygiene regulation as a restaurant back home inside. Firstly, I wonder I should eat street food or not, if it's a guaranteed way to get sick. But street food in Thailand is no less good than some restaurants when I eat on the street. I am more likely to serve the fresh food and to get to see it being prepared, both of which go a long way toward keeping me healthy, rather than food, fast food or convenience stores sometimes. But, but one of the risks of street food comes from food that, that sometimes isn't fresh. If a dish is, has been sitting out in the sun for hours, it's much more likely to make us sick. But long lines usually means a quick turnover. Just across the Chao Phraya River, a snack lovers Shangri La, and it happens to be one of my favorite places in all Bangkok. If you love Thai street food and you are in Bangkok, it's a requirement to visit here. One long market. There is a mind-blowing quantity of street snacks and the cute things to sample. I often have to need to take a breather and attempt to analyze what to eat in the most efficient manner to maximize my stomach space. On the outside of the market, across the street, vendor line up in a row of great bananas, vendors are selling every possible Thai dessert, grilled. And fried pork, fish, and chickens.
it's possible to order hot, fresh, straight food from a stall with a long line at lunch time, and then ruin it all with a bad condiment. Many food courts in Thailand have so sauces and other seasonings you can add yourself, but the problem is that they are usually sitting out and may never get refrigerated. If a condimented bottle looks like it never gets used, it's probably old, and there is a higher chance it's breeding bacteria. But if you notice that every one person in front of you is adding some some things, the bottle probably isn't that old, and it's much safer. The big advantage is a street food is that we can watch our food being cooked. And we can see what is going on. Seeing the food being cooked, the ingredients. Did the cooker wipe their noses while they are preparing the food? Does the cooking area seem gently dirty? After preparing food, and the bag and the bring it out to the customers. Monday, a street cleaning days in Bangkok, citywide. And many street food cart vendors take the day off. We'll notice about a 50% decrease in street food in Bangkok on Mondays, so we can still find some, but don't always count on Mondays. I will contact you as soon as I arrive at airport. See you soon. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.